Aloha, big kids. Miss Hatton here. I'm here with our I Ready lesson, our Ready lesson for today. It's in this workbook. Um, before we get started in our work workbook, I have some things to talk about in our story to share. Um, so stories always have a beginning, a middle, and an end. The beginning and the middle and the end are the three parts that make up a story. So our goal today is to talk about the beginning of the story. We're going to be talking about Jamaica's blue marker. And I, I know that good readers reread to help them remember information. So as we reread today, we're going to be identifying the most important parts of the beginning of the story. So rereading helps us remember and it also helps us make sense of the story. So the beginning is where the writer captures or grabs our attention. It's where they can tell us about the character or characters in the story. We also get to see the setting in the story. The beginning can also tell us if it's what kind of story it's going to be. It's going to be a silly story, a serious story, a dark and mysterious story, or um, giving us information. So the beginning tells us a lot. A good beginning of the story tells readers, um, or makes readers want to continue to read the story so you get too excited about the book. So we're going to go ahead and reread the beginning of our book. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. I think it's easiest for you to see. I'm going to share my screen. So I wanted to go ahead and start by remembering that the author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. What does the author do? Writes the words. How about the illustrator? Draws or colors or paints or creates the pictures. All right, the kids. So here we go. Jamaica's Blue Marker. And this book is written by Juanita Havill and illustrated by Anne Sibley O'Brien. So I remember that our author writes the words and our illustrator draws the pictures. And I can see on this front cover here that this illustrator is a quality illustrator. They have used three colors or more filling the page with lots of detail and getting a lot of information from the picture. So I want you to remember to pay close attention to the details in the picture. They also help us know what's happening in the story. All right, our title page, Jamaica's Blue Marker by Juanita Havill. Illustrated by Anne Sibley O'Brien. And something else that's included in our title page, our honor title page, is right here. And that is our publisher. And this one is published by Newton Mifflin Company in Boston. And the publisher are the people who make or create the book. Jamaica closed her eyes and thought about her picture. Miss Worth always said to think first, then draw. Jamaica opened her eyes and drew a tree on her big sheet of paper. Then she drew leaves falling off the tree and colored them yellow. Jamaica, Miss Worth said, could you please share your markers with Russell? 
he doesn't have any. He never has anything he needs, Jamaica thought. But she said, okay, even though she didn't want to share the markers with him. So you can look on her face and see how she's feeling. You can also look at Russell's face and see how he's feeling. How is Russell feeling there, do you think? Maybe scared, nervous, maybe shy. Russell brought his paper to Jamaica's table. He sat down beside her and grabbed her blue marker. Jamaica picked up her brown and orange markers to finish her picture. She didn't pay any attention to Russell. After a while, she peeked at his paper. Russell was making sweeping circles all over his page. We're supposed to draw a fall picture, Russell, Jamaica said. Said, who says? Miss Worth, don't you ever listen? I don't have to. Russell reached out with his blue marker and made a streak across Jamaica's picture. Russell, stop! Jamaica shouted. But Russell scribbled all over Jamaica's yellow leafed tree. We can look here at her face and see. How is she feeling there? Upset, mad, angry, maybe even surprised that Russell's coloring on her paper. Miss Worth, Jamaica cried. Russell wrecked my picture. Miss Worth hurried over to their table. Russell, did you do this? She held up Jamaica's picture. Miss Worth couldn't get Russell to say I'm sorry. He had to sit alone and work on spelling until art was over. All right, so we're gonna stop there because that is the beginning part of our story. So um, I have a couple questions for you and then I want to show you our page and I would love for you to answer these on Flipgrid for me. So what do you think is the most important event that happened at the beginning of the story? Why? Why do you think that is the most important thing that happened? Could the rest of the story happen? If that event didn't happen, and does this event lead us to the most important part of the middle? I also have these I can share with you right here. So why do you think that is the most important event? Could the rest of the story happen? And does that event lead us to the most important part in the middle? So what was the most important part of the beginning? And that is what we're gonna be working on today in our I Ready book on page two. Right here, it says in the beginning. And so your job is to draw a picture of what happened there in the beginning part of the story. So I want to see a picture of how Jamaica was feeling and what happened to make her feel that way. All right, I can't wait to see your work on Flipgrid. I hope you have a wonderful day, big kids. Aloha.